Alright, uh, morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, I'm just, I figured, the uh, since I haven't done one of these in a very, very long time, I thought I'd just go ahead and, uh, take it up again. But, I was browsing the Final Fantasy forums, and I came up with this one, which, which is a pretty good, pretty good question. So I thought I'd just go ahead and, uh, comment and comment on it. Uh, like usual, I'll probably just go on down the line and just comment on everybody else's threads. It's just, I'm a lot more comfortable doing it like this. I'm not trying to expose or call anybody out, but like I said, I find it easier to just talk it out than have to sit here and try to type out a whole freaking essay. Especially if I can speak it a lot faster. But to start with, social aspects of MMOs apparently as the game has progressed in age I personally find people have become very antisocial groups rarely converse in DF roulettes anymore totally agree with that uh, and on my server at least hubs really have a conversation occurring either why bother playing an MMO if there's minimal social interaction uh, my theory on that is basically because to me, the answer is pretty much right here. MMOs have progressed in age. I mean, when I think when an MMO first comes out, it's brand spanking new to everybody. Everybody has a lot to talk about. You know, how do you do this? Or, y'all ever been here? Whoa, check this place out. This is really cool. Yeah, awesome. You know, and it goes back and forth like that. But when, a, when an MMO, especially in the case of like World of Warcraft or RuneScape, uh, games that have been out for many, many years, the content gets old and stale, you know, everybody knows everything now, you're just basically rehashing all the same stuff that everybody else already knows, you know, there's hardly any point in talking anymore. I mean, yeah, you get new you get new players in there, but the, the, the rest of the player base has been doing it for so long, have become jaded, you know, you get a new player in there, it's like, whoa, this place is awesome, and everybody goes, oh yeah. I broke level 20 over there, yeah, I did that many years ago, you know, <clears throat> yeah, I've been, yeah, I run that too on all 25 of my characters, yeah, great, awesome, glad you enjoyed the game, you know, that kind of thing, it is everybody's so burnt out on it, uh, as far as the antisocial aspect, I think probably a big reason is just because of the nature of the internet itself. You're basically anonymous, so you can you can get away with a lot more. Um, I'm sure there's an outside society aspect to it too. You know, if the old saying is going, the, the, kind of like the old saying goes, this whole world is going to hell in a handbasket, and it kind of kind of reflects that in the in the player base too. Everybody's so grumpy and cynical and whatnot. They're just, anti, you know, they're not wanting to talk to anybody. And if they do, they're probably really, you know, grumpy and crabby, just like they are in real life. So that, that's pretty much a reflection on society. Plus you couple that with the internet. You know, it just intensifies that. Or enhances that, depending on how you look at it. Uh, groups rarely converse in DF roulettes anymore. Uh, same thing there. Or kind of the same thing there. You know, everybody's run the stuff so many times, they just want to get it over with. And, like I also said, any new players that want to, you know, any new players that are running the stuff, like, whoa, this place is cool! You're probably going to get, oh yeah, it's really great. Yeah, I'll run this place, check the stats. 238 times, yeah, I know, yeah, it never gets old, we, you know. And on my server, at least, I was really open conversation. I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing Cactar must be a pretty dead world. I mean, I, I mean, in the world I'm in, Hyperion, I mean, it's not a, 
I mean, it's not a super huge, you know, jump and join or anything like that with, you know, chat just constantly blowing up or anything. But yeah, you do see some, you do see some combo going on every so often. Uh, back when I was a, re back when I had the returner status and had a uh, the novice network, it was pretty active. The heart, and very rarely was there any trolling in it either. So, it, that must be a server thing with him. Already, already gave my answer to that so I'll just go down all the rest of the posts and uh, try to comment on them as best I can if I can it's been like this since cross the world of duty finder was implemented um, I think this is kind of a tie-in with that as well just ever oh, oh, oh. no 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 incorrect incorrect uh, I guess I could probably add that in there as well uh, basically um, I'm guessing before cross world you could only do stuff on your own on your own realm so you had to be re if, it, if you can only do stuff on your own server, you were a lot more responsible because the things you did had far more repercussions. I mean, there, you had a much harder time being anonymous. I mean, because now, with the Cross World Duty Finder, you know you're, you know you're, you're one in numerous other realms. It's a lot more easier to hide amongst the clouds, for lack of a better phrase. You're more anonymous, so you can get away with more. You know, you had to be nice, you had to be friendly, you know, you had to be sociable because, you know, you, you could only, you know, you could only do things on your realm, you know, fewer people, you get, you get the idea. 1.0 had the social community again, that was probably due to the game bringing, being brand spanking new. It was new to everybody. Nobody was bored with it, nobody was jaded with it, you know, so... Fresh and active. Hardly any of it being routine. And we go on farther down the line. I kind of agree with this too. Go out and talk with people in Limsa or any other city states. Usually they'll talk back. Again, that I could see this happening too. But as one who's played MMOs for probably at least 10 years, there's a I've been on both sides of the fence on that. I mean, yeah, you can talk. Yeah, they might talk back or they might troll you as well. This is especially true in World of Warcraft where the trade chat in there was real toxic. You try to ask a question, you know, wanting help and all you got is a smart ass answers from everybody. You know, you're basically gambling when you do stuff like that. So there's the dark side as well. So basically it's, you're taking a risk. And this always helps as well. Of course, for those that don't have an FC, it's probably going to be more problematic. You're, just, you're basically talking to a whole bunch of strangers in a subway car. Oh, this is going to be a long one. Sat in a dungeon the other day for 40 minutes just chatting to her. Been there too. Who knows how long you gotta wait till the next, till the healer, tank, or whoever else needs to be in there. You know, nothing else to do, might as well chat it up. Conversations happen. I don't type in party chat besides saying my hellos and parallels unless we stop since. See these simultaneously. Uh, yeah, I'm like that too. Most. Most of my conversations consist of chat macros. Because I can't, I'm like this too, I can't be in two places at once. It's easy to be social if someone wants to be. I see in link shells at least, sir.
he pretty much said it too. He's got to go out. He calls it being social. I call it taking your chance. Like I said, um, yeah, I've had a fair amount of good conversations with people, but I've also, uh, you know, but I've also uh, been punished for asking or been punished for talking. You know, people are trolling you and stuff. So, seen both sides of it. And once again, been on both sides of the fence. Okay, here's a long one. Eh, which is one of the trolley answers I got when I, when I was playing World of Warcraft or Trade Chat. Instead of just answering my question, they blame me for asking it. Okay, I kind of see this too. Um, those who watch my streams, uh, whenever I'm running group content, I tend to keep a, I tend to keep a strong eye on the raiders, the raid geared players, um, because past experience, these guys tend to be the biggest douches, because one of the reasons why is because they're in a raiding guild, you know, everybody's friendly towards each other, they're all good buddies, and, you know, they have all their need, you know, they have all they need, you know, they don't need a, a random stranger like myself, you know. You know, because they're, uh, if this game were The Sims, you know, their their FC would fill their social need. They wouldn't need to socialize with anybody else anymore. So now, strangers like myself are more likely to just get treated like trash. Or just treated like an impediment to whatever goal they're trying to attain. So, that, like I said, usually it's to me, it's usually it's the Raiders that are most likely to be like that. Um, newbies, you know, having never played the... Or I'm, I'm also talking two extremes here. One extreme, you got the Raiders, you know, Raiding Guild, you know, strong bond between them, you know, strong bonds from having to, having, you know, do raid content and stuff, having to coordinate with each other, you know, makes for, you know, stronger friendships and whatnot. Then you got the other extreme, you know, not really want, you know, no need to really socialize with anybody else because they have what they need. But then you got the other end, the brand new players who, you know, the game is brand new to them. They're all happy, joyful, you know, friendly and trying to talk. Hey, man, my first time here, don't die. You know, stuff like that. Just... But I'm, if, if that makes any sense at all, I'm still, I'm not, I'm improvising all this. So I don't, I'm not going off a script or anything. Because there's no chit chat between the corner and me. Which I kind of agree with this too. I mean, I'm not. I'm the kind of person that I won't talk to you unless you talk to me first. So that's just been that way since I was a. Probably been that way since I was a kid. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not antisocial in that respect. Plus, more like. Like with the guy what the guy up there said I can't talk in DPS at the same time I can't talk and play at the same time it's very hard for me so there's that as well I'm more likely to talk during down times I recall dungeons being more people have their groups they stick to. And there's this too, because uh, Discord is pretty prevalent. You know, whenever I want, kind of off subject, but whenever they're, this is one of the biggest things that make me leave other people's streams when I watch other streamers. If they got Discord going, I'm gone. Too many bad experiences with that. Because they'll be They'll be busy talking and chatting it up with somebody else on their Discord, you know, and I'm sitting there trying to talk to them, trying to talk to them in, in Twitch or Twitch or YouTube gaming or whichever one I'm in, 
trying to talk to them, but I just get ignored completely because they're too busy talking to whatever whatever they got going on in Discord. I mean, so very infuriating. To be fair, though, it's hard for me as well. Uh, when I played Diablo 3, I was uh, <clears throat> running stuff with a couple friends of mine, and it, I was trying to stream at the same time, so, and I had people, people in my chat, and I'm trying to, like, be in both places at the same time. It's very hard for me to multitask. So, it's understandable. Getting off that tangent. And she said it. She said what I was saying. Where is it? There we go. What I see in random chatter during dungeon runs might be, though, that by now most of us want to get the kind of just want to get it over with. Like, like I said, the game's been out for many, many years. A lot of these players have been playing the game for many, many years. Nothing's new to them anymore. So there's nothing fresh, nothing exciting compared to the new player who's it's the first time there. You know, everything is new and everything is new and exciting to them. So they're going to be more into it than guys like us who've been playing for God knows how long or, or in her case been playing since AR beta I mean she's probably super super jaded okay I I gotta skip that good god that's a lot of text okay on this I agree with too Worth it, worth it. Back when I first started playing this game, I played it on a PS4. Very difficult to type stuff down when you only play on a controller. If you, so my advice to anybody else who plays on a PS4 or is wanting to play on a PS4, get a keyboard. Keyboards do work with PS4s. It's going to make typing stuff down a hell of a lot easier. And I'm like this as well. I'm also a slow typist. I don't, I can't do what uh, lots of other streamers I've seen do. They just, it's like that scene in Ghost in the Shell when the secretary, her, her mechanical fingers also split out into like 20 to 20 fingers and then, I mean, I've, I've seen streamers do that. It's like, how? Man, they must take, like, some serious typing classes or something. Like, 200 plus words a minute. Whereas I'm more like Jethro Bodine off of the, the Beverly Hillbillies. You know. Yep. That's why I gotta rely on macros for my chats. And I've seen this on numerous occasions. They're, they just go ahead and pull anyway. When I'm trying, pulling a boss, I'm still trying to ex explain mechanics. This is another little pet peeve of mine. Um, I don't, when people, uh, when people try to explain mechanics in dungeons, it's avoid AOE. But that's it, it doesn't, doesn't really help me at all. You know, my very first time at a boss, kill ads, or click bubbles. You know, I, you know, I kind of like, you know, I kind of like to, kind of like to know a little more. You know, you don't have to give any lore or history or anything like that. But uh, like, where are the bubbles? Or where are the ads gonna come from? Where, where are, where is the stuff I'm supposed to click? But 90% of the time, they don't do that. It's click bomb or avoid this area. It's, you know, short answers. Whereas I'm the kind of person that would actually like to type down, look for four grills in the, look, look for four big grills in this room here. Every so often, they will bubble up, they will bubble up, and they need to be clicked on in order to shut down, otherwise ads appear. You know, the very, you know, the final boss on Sat Sasha. I mean, I'd rather type it, you know, give a long explanation and 
really what you're supposed to be doing, you know, a little bit of context of the mechanics. But uh, most other people, they won't even do that. It's just click. Don't die. They, like, no shit, Sherlock. I didn't, why didn't I think of that, you know? So, yeah, I... Woman nailed it. As did Bidu. Or Vidu, or how you pronounce it. And... Oh. Casey pretty much nailed it, too. He, I mean... At least, strictly speaking, you can be social anywhere. Anywhere there is other players, you got a chance to sit there and talk it up. I mean, at least... At least theoretically, but like I said, I've been on both sides of the fence on that. Like I've, I've typed stuff down, and you know, yeah, sometimes people you know chat it up, but you also get people that chew you out or they get trolly with you. So it's a risky proposition. Uh, I'm trying to think, but like I said earlier, I'm all. For, it's also not in my personality to do it. I don't talk to anybody unless they talk to me first. In this game here, I don't normally say anything unless somebody else says something. Then yeah, then I jump in. But I'm not a I'm not an initiator, I guess. Be the word that'd be the word I'm looking for. This is a I kinda like this word too. I've heard this word uh this phrase here. I'll just call it a name. I've heard this name being tossed around every so often and it's really it's a really neat word if you understand what it means. It's just that you're enjoyed wandering around aimlessly as a paladin and taking random face from people. This is one of my favorite things to do too in this game. And uh, one of the real one of the reasons why I like this game so much is uh level sync. Including running fates, because everybody's level is synced down to to the same level. Or maybe within within four or five levels of each other. Nobody grows the elk gears, and so you don't have to worry about one person flying in, steamrolling everything right off from under you and flying off. You're welcome. Fuck you. You know, it's basically be my, that'd be my response. So it's, it's, this is another chance for a random act of kindness right here. I've done this, I've done this several occasions. Somebody having trouble, you know, somebody struggling with monsters or whatever, I dive in there, jump in, you know, especially as a tank, pull them all on me and, and, you know, they're like, they're bowing me or they're saying thank you, you know, stuff like that, so. Um, relic weapons go over my head. I think I did maybe one of them, so no clue on that. Yup, yup. And Alakan Alakran nailed that one too. Even even the social part of it, you don't have you don't have to have a huge amount of charisma and be totally personable, you know, and all that. I and mean, you don't have to be a doctor dude or anything to you know to be sociable. I mean I mean I there was a one instance I did it was back when I was playing my scholar. A um, bunch of guys were doing a level 70 hunt. Uh, one guy was just totally surrounded by a whole bunch of monsters. Ah, it looked like he needed help. Dove in and started healing him, keeping him up. You know, starting up healing him and whoever else needed it, keep, keeping him healed up. And next thing you know, I have a whole freaking group over here just, just cheering for me afterwards. You know, someone doing some bowing and scraping for him, or bowing and scraping and whatnot. You know, he, you know, he didn't even have. You know, I didn't have to be a, I didn't have to be super charismatic or anything like that in order to be sociable. So, but, and I said that earlier, totally agree. It's extremely difficult to try to type without a keyboard. And, Damn, these people are nailing it. And like I said earlier, this is one of the reasons why I leave other people's streams. If you, I also want to say, to be fair, it's less the software. 
than it and more of the people that use it. Like I said, I mean, there's nothing wrong with using Discord in and of itself, but if you're going to use it, you need to be able to be in two places at once, too. You know, if I'm trying to talk to you, you know, you need to interact with me, the guy in the chat box, and along with the people, you know, along with the people in your Discord. But more often than not, that's not the case. They can't be in two, they can't be in two places at once, or, or hell, even worse, they won't be in two places at once. Like, I, I know of at least, I think it was at least one instance back when I was watching uh, Diablo 2 streamers. Don't remember her name, but it was like, I was I was spoken to, it was like a last resort. It's kind of hard to explain, but you know, when her and the other guy, blah, 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 I type something, blah, 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 Oh yeah, Joe, definitely Joe, yeah, true Joe. Anyway, blah, 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 you know, you know, kind of disrespectful. here I might I might have to actually type this down in the forums because I don't I don't know if she watches streamers at all but uh, like like I said before I've had way too many bad experiences with this streamers can't seem to handle the discord they're using Again, our uh, I've actually made friends on this forum, including someone on the very thread. Well, I do try to muster up the conversation, it usually happens to something, but yeah, it's sorry to repeat myself, but I had said it earlier most of my conversation comes from macros. If any, they're at the very least icebreakers, but like I said, I'm a, I'm a bad, slow typist and. I'm usually too busy with other stuff, like actually playing my role, than to actually type stuff down. And this I agree with too. This is not a new problem. I guess I, uh, I guess I mentioned Discord because when I, when I actually started watching streamers, this was the uh, software of choice. Um, back when I played World of Warcraft, for the, in the. Uh, in the guild that I was in, for the very rare time that we actually used it, we used Ventrilo. Um, uh, back when I, back when my mom was living in Idaho, and I was still living here in Minnesota, this is how I talked to my mom using using Skype. But I didn't, I didn't care for it because it could be a bad connection from my end or a bad connection on her end. Uh, I, everything was slow and laggy and real blocky, low quality. Yeah, okay, yeah. I guess I should have read the rest of the post, but yeah, it's nothing new. You know, gain clicks based on... Um, this might actually some pretty good conversation right here about Discord. So... I'm gonna... I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all that anything Discord related. That might be a that might be a good conversation for me to read on my own time, not during the video. I just don't like people in it. And this is what is called misanthropy. Something which I'm not. I'll sometimes give pe I'll sometimes give people this impression, both in game and in real life, when no, I'm not I'm not pure antisocial, it's just, like I said, probably a thousand times already, I don't talk to you unless you talk to me first. It's, I'm just wired that way. And, um, I found a red, a red flag for this when I'm, whenever I'm being the knight errant that, I think it was Paladin Leeds that Leeds was talking about, 
If I see somebody with a do not disturb icon next to their name, I'm staying away from you. Like I say, they're, they're usually the people that they don't help. You know, if I'm if I'm tanking or healing and if I got monsters on me, they don't help me out. They don't back me up. They're just mirroring your own. Now that I think about it, I've actually robbed. I've actually ran fates with people who really should have that do not disturb icon next to their name the way they play. Like, assholes. You know, running as a tank, I'm pulling monsters off the healer, you know. The least you could do is heal me up. No effort is made by them, they just stand there and DPS. You know, like, thanks, fucker. You know, so, you know, they should get a do not disturb symbol next to their name. You know, when you show some courtesy. And uh, I've gone through this before too. I'm, I'm assuming you remember. I'm assuming you. I'm assuming you remembered, remembered all the things I said earlier. But I mean, you know, I've heard this before. Go play a single player of the game if you don't want to interact. I mean, I there. Or she mentioned single player, but I'm I'm I, that can uh, apply to MMOs too. I mean, WoW sucks. I mean, there's no level sync in that game. People can outgear the con content by as many as 100 eye levels. I mean, yeah, you're for you're. It's an MMO where I'm forced to play a single player because I ain't running with those guys. Douchebaggery skills with eye level. I mean, never had players in crappy gear tell me they can solo content in crappy gear. It's always the overgeared ones that do it. So, she doesn't like people in general and gamer in real life, but yet her character card says, fuck me. Um, oh, 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 yeah. Social interactions start with the simplest things like using an emote. Again, you, it's like I said earlier, you don't have to I mean, you don't have to be a doctor dude in order to in order to interact with people. I mean it's like things that I do. You know, just use macros. You know, or a simple suggestion here and there, you know. It could just be a simple icebreaker. Stop for ten seconds while the person. I really have to remember to do this. I've had this happen too. I'll be standing there like at a, a summoning bell or just standing in the middle of nowhere. I've had other players stand there face to face with me. My usual response to streaming is like, "Can I help you?" You know, I don't. I don't know what he's doing. He just runs up to me and stares at me. I, like, you know, can you say something? I mean, I think I'd be creeped out at this point. Unless he found out that I was streaming or something. Okay, this must just be an RP thing. RP, which is something I don't, I don't really get into. At least not the hardcore stuff. Okay, this is uh, this is gonna have to be something else. I'm gonna have to read uh, outside of this video. Shuriken kind of said what I said at the start. It, it's the game's been going on too long, and we're all too jaded. Nothing's there's nothing fresh and new anymore. Nothing really to talk about. Once 
time. Okay, okay. Um, it looks like a. It looks like everything is pretty much going to be uh, the same thing all over again. Just recycled material. So, with that, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say. So, that'll do it. And if you made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, take care. Oh, and Merry Christmas, too, and Happy New Year.